Good morning. Today is October 16th, and I hope your morning is beautiful and blessed like mine. Because Care Bear is being funny today. So, you need so much attention from Mommy because guess what? I never give him attention. No, I sure don't, do I? Do my, my little love bug. Do I? No, Mommy doesn't. Yes. Oh, he's such a good doggy. He is. He is. We gotta teach him how to listen to me. But other than that, he's great. Yes, 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 you are. Okay, mommy's gotta do Bible study. So you find find a toy. Find a toy. Um, one second. There you go. For some odd reason he did not see me throw it. So <laughs> We are in Ecclesiastics um, 7, and so I'm going to start with number 9. So yesterday I uh, stopped, I think I stopped at number 9, um, but I didn't get to talk about number 9 because I didn't realize the time um, and everything. So I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray for me first, dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for um, allowing me to do this, Lord Jesus. Just thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. And now I'm going to pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for everybody who's watching this, Lord Jesus, who is, who is getting wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from your word, Lord Jesus. I just ask that they get abundant blessings from this, Lord Jesus, that, that your word is what they hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I just love it when I um, I feel the Holy Spirit, right? Because because sometimes it's like, you know, I care about going on and everything, and you have to be in the presence, you know. Um, and it's very important to be in that presence. It's so important. It, it can change the whole outcome of this. You know what I mean? Me reading to you. So I always have to make sure I'm in the presence. Because if I'm not, then it's a me thing, and this cannot be a me thing. It has to be a God thing. So... So I'm very, I'm very, very um, knowledgeable about that. That, you know, it has to be a God thing. Okay, so we are on Ecclesiastes 7, 9. It says, control your temper, for anger labels you a fool. So are you, do you have problems with your anger? Do you have problems with, you know, just, all of a sudden you just lash out for no reason? Well, that, my friends, is an emotion which is attached to a demon. I'm going to say it like that because, you know, some people are like, everything can't be a demon. Well, let me tell you, it stems from your trauma, which is unforgiveness. So there's unforgiveness. So what happens is you don't forget. There's a trauma, a traumatic event or whatever happened to you. You don't forget, right? So, you know, no forgiveness. Then that unforgiveness opens the door. It's like, ee! Here we go. It's a party time. All these demons enter you because you have unforgiveness. And now you have anger. You have bitterness. You have rage. You have all this other stuff that's just like just entering you, right? And you don't know what's going on. You don't know why you picked up that dope. You don't know why you did this. You don't know why you lash out at people. You don't know why you ain't got no friends or family that truly love you and care about you. I mean, even though they do care about you, but like in your mind, they don't, right? Because you have unforgiveness, which is this ding, 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 ding. That's the, that's the thing right there. Unforgiveness. So you got to get rid of unforgiveness to get rid of all the other stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I hope you got that one. Because if you didn't, you got to get rid of unforgiveness to get, uh, get rid of all your stuff. There it is again. Just in case you didn't get the first one. Number 10. Don't long for the good old days. This is not wise. Do you reminisce about like how you used to get high and how you used to do this and how you used to do that? Mm -hmm. That's not good. That's not good. 11. Wisdom is better when you have money. Both are a benefit as you go through life. True. You need wisdom over your finances. Wisdom and money can get you almost anything, but only wisdom can save your life. It's true because you cannot, you can't take money with you. You just cannot. And I tell you all the time, like, do something good with your money, right? Don't just let it just get moth. What does it say in the Bible? It says it somewhere in one of these scriptures. It says um, moth and rust, right? Moths and rust, I think. 
Um, number 13, accept the way God does things. For, for who can strengthen what he has made crooked? Enjoy prosperity while you can. But when hard time strikes, realize that both come from God. Remember that nothing is certain in his life. So this is very important. I'm going to break this down for you, number 13 to 14. So God will tell us to do something, right? Okay. So accept the way God does things. That is hard. That is so hard. You know, because so many times in my life, I'm just going to talk about my life because I'm like, God's like, you got to do this. Really, God? I just don't think, think that I can. Or I, nope, that is not. So there was a time when I, this is when I first started. I had no clue what was going on. Um, and so there was this, there's this like, um, this little park right in the middle of uh, Portage, Wisconsin. And so it's um, the like the... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, it's this little park and they've got like all these little water things and everything. It's like the skate park. And um, anyways, so I was driving on one side because there's one way and then you go around the block and then the other way. You know, one way this way, one way that way, right? And so God told me there was a girl, with a boy girl, right? And um, God's like, you need to stop and tell them that they're beautiful. And I'm like, nope. Nope, that is not a thing I'm going to do. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Nope. And God's like, no, you need to. I'm like, no. And so I didn't know it was God's voice, but it was God's voice. And I'm like, no, this, this is not a thing. And so I'm driving around, right, and I'm turning to, like, turn, you know, to, like, go to the shortcut to get to my street. And all of a sudden I see my blinker making a left on the other one way to wrap around to go tell this. I said, God. Like, I knew, now I don't know it's God, right? And I'm like, mm. So I did it. I got it on my car, pulled up. And I'm like, okay, this is going to sound so strange, but God says you're beautiful. It was a girl. And the look on her face was, like, priceless. It was just, like, relief. And, like, I don't, I don't know what she was thinking. Maybe she made a prayer and said, God, if you're real, show me. You know what I mean? Maybe she was thinking about killing herself. I don't know. But the, it was like relief. It gone. Like it was just, I was like, oh, okay. And that was my first experience of accepting God's way. Yeah. You never know what it's going to affect, right? You never know what, what the outcome is. But just the relief on her face was just beautiful. It was so beautiful. Um. The limits of human wisdom. I have seen everything in this meaningless life, including death of good young people and the long life of wicked people. So don't be too good or too wise. Why destroy yourself? On the other hand, don't be too wicked either. Don't be a fool. Why die before your time? Pay attention to these instructions for anyone who fears God will avoid both extremes. So, you know, you need to be content, right? You have to be content in everything. You have to. Number 19, one wise person is stronger than 10 leading citizens of a town. Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. We all sin. Nobody is. If you think you're better than somebody else, that's called pride. And you need to remove it from you. Okay. Because you're not better. You are not. I'm here to tell you you're not. Nope. We are servants. We are supposed to be the lowest of lowest. Right? Because in heaven we're the highest of highest. First be last and last will be first. Right? Number 21. Don't eavesdrop on others. You may hear your servant curse you. For you know how often you yourself has cursed others. So gossip listening you know what I mean like I look at it there was a this situation you know a lot of us have cameras right so if you think somebody's cheating on you and it's like you want to put the camera in there or whatever and you want to be like oh they're doing this right I got a little hidden camera and I'm watching everything they're doing why are you going to torment yourself why don't you just ask God if if they're cheating or why don't you just ask God because he sees all you don't even need to spend money on a camera 
God sees all, be like, yep, you need to leave that relationship, right? Because God says that you can leave a relationship if there is infidelity. You can. Yes. Um, number 23. I have always tried my best to let wisdom guide my thoughts and actions. I said to myself, I am determined to be wise, but it, but it didn't work. Wisdom is always distant and difficult to find. I search everywhere, determined to find wisdom and to understand the reason for things. I was determined to prove myself that wickedness is stupid and that foolishness is madness. Madness. So I always ask God for wisdom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I say in my prayer, I'm like, God, please give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because a lot of the things that God shows me, I... My human, nope, I have no clue. I'm like, why, why? What's the reason behind this? Please tell me. And um, I asked for wisdom, and wisdom comes in and tells me. Every single time, she tells me, you know? Um, number 26, I discovered that a seductive woman is a trap. More bitter than death, her passion is a snare, and her soft hands are chains. Those who are pleasing to God will escape her, but sinners will be caught in her snare. I was a seductive woman. Yep, I have old pictures on all my stuff. Just, you know, and even on my YouTube channel, my old videos. Uh, yes. I keep them up because it shows you if I can change, anybody can change, right? It's it's where I was, you know, I was I was I was using this to get whatever I wanted. And that is not the way of God. That is the way of Satan. All right? That is the way of Satan. And, it's, and I, you know what I mean? And, and God changed me. He saved me. He took, he took me out of hell and has me moving up towards heaven. Yes. Number 27. This is my conclusion, says the teacher. I discovered this after looking at the matter from every possible angle. Though I have searched repeatedly, I have not found what I was looking for. Only one out of a thousand men is victorious, but not, but not a woman. But <laughs> I don't agree with that, but it's in the Bible. But I did find this. God created people to be vir vir virtuous, but they have each turned to follow, follow their own downward path. We all sin. You know, that is the thing. We, we all we, we all sin. Everybody sins. And we, you know, but you can reach out. You can reach out to Jesus, right? Reach out to Jesus. Ask Jesus to cleanse you from your sins, right? That's what, that's what you need to do. Repent. I heard something today. It was, um, so I always ask God for my sins known and unknown. But we can start asking God to reveal our sins known and unknown. Because sometimes we don't think it's a sin, right? Sometimes you don't think it's a sin and it's a sin in God's eyes, right? So I always ask, I'm, I'm going to start doing that, asking God for my sins known and unknown. You know, be like, show me my sins known and unknown and then repent of those sins. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we love you so much, God. So much, so much. We love you, and we just are so blessed that you are in our presence, Lord Jesus, each and every single day. We thank you, God. I thank you that somebody gets a message from this video. Or everybody gets a message from this video. Everybody who watches it gets a message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love you. Have a wonderful and blessed day.